Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to a new game. So this is called the Hotel Transylvania Monsters and it's available for Android and iOS I believe. So playing on the tutorial. So this game is developed by the same, I believe the same company that actually worked on the Pacific Rim Bridge Wars. So if you guys watch my content and enjoyed Pacific Rim Bridge Wars and you like the gameplay style and concept and everything so this game has that as well so it's basically by the same uh, developer called kung fu factory so let's play through the tutorial and we'll see what is it about are you watching johnny let the master show you how to scare okay old man i've got my popcorn match those gems and let's see what you got okay so basically it's the same uh, Gem matching three three gems alignment kind of game play. You call it puzzle gem matching, something like that. Is that all you got, Drag? You barely drained Murray's spirit. My turn, better hope I don't power up the Murray flurry. Ooh. Alright, you lost some spirit. You won't beat Murray with those basic moves. All part of my plan, bit hit. Just need a few more black gems to charge my ability. Alright, so we got the charge up ability as well. So, same. Oh my god. Is that four gems in a row? Along with breaking gems, abilities also charge a little each turn. Now, watch this. So, that's the skill. Wow, that's a lot of damage. My ability changed random green gems into purple gems, my favorite. Okay, four in a row. Not looking good, Drag. You lose all your spirit. You, you lose the match, right? Well, then I guess I better wrap this up. Alright, so you get to use a primary skill as well. 5,600 damage. <coughs> so I'm curious, what is the first... A character that you actually obtain in Pacific Rim Bridge Wars, you obtain November Ajax as your first. So let's see what do we get. Do we get Drag as our first character? Okay, so straight up you can see, um, very similar to to Pacific Rim Bridge Wars, the entire <coughs> the entire user interface. It has some sort of similarities in it. Hey, are you here to compete against other monsters in the Blood Moon Festival? Do you think your team is the scariest in the land? Come along, I'll show you around. I'm Johnny, the hotel's human relations coordinating co-assistant. Yes, it's a real job. Okay, so you click on that. If you want to compete, you'll need a monster. Let's go to the lab and conjure one for you. Alright, so you get to conjure, basically summon. And I believe regardless, uh, this is like not random, it's fixed for you. Let's see what's the first one we get. Two star. <coughs> okay, so you got a blueprint for me. Drag won't tell me how this cloning works, but I'm pretty sure Murray just put a curse on the cauldron. So we got Johnny as our first character. Conjure Johnny. Alright, so we unlock our first character in the game, and his name is Johnny. Ah, pretty interesting. Why don't we check the hotel's activities real quick, they help you find fun things to do. Okay, so let's tap on that, win a match. So these are the daily achievements, I believe. Okay, let's fight this blob looking thing. Check out the power ratings if your opponent higher, alright, chance higher for you to win. Doesn't chance stand a chance against my karate kick. Cool. <coughs> so they have the class advantage system as well. Matching those five blue gems will create a wild gem, you'll get an extra turn. Right, let's try that. Wild gems can be used with any color, even loot caskets to make matches of three or more okay so 
Why are they asking me to do this? Oh, for the loot casket. You get bonus loot for matching 3, 6, and 13 loot caskets, so try to collect them all. Exactly the same as Pacific Rim Bridge Wars. Alright, he just threw a ball at me. A great way to do this is by using curses. I gave you one, let's cast it now. Okay, curses. Curse or caskets change 3 random gems to loot caskets. So this is similar to stratagems or something. Look at all those loot caskets, collect as many as you can, but be sure to win the match. Alright, cool. Um, so he's letting me do whatever I want for now. Doubt I'll lose this one. Uh, grab the green and the blue. Nice one, nice one. We won. Wow, level 1 quartz amulet. I think that's for the equipments. You got a relic from the loot casket. I'll show you how to equip that in a little bit. Continue. Let's go get our reward for completing the activity. Still in the tutorial. Claim. Rank up level 2, yes. Alright, so 5 monster mojo potency 4. 10,000 coins. Great timing, you can do, use those rank up goodies to level up your character. We can also equip your character with that new relic. Let's go. Go here. Alright, go to team. Character's own. Level. It's exactly the same. Look at this interface part. It's exactly the same. Alright, drag the slider. Level up. <laughs> Power, max spirit, red gems, black gems, alright. So understandably. So if you are ever up against a tough opponent, see if you can level up your character. So relic, equip, equip this. Okay, as you level up your character, you unlock more relic slots, so make sure to equip them all. Okay, hey, we completed another activity, let's go get our reward. Claim that. Now that your character is stronger, let's try another challenge. Okay. Go here. Go to play. Continue. Campaign. I believe there should be events as well. Okay, so still forcing me to do things. Sweet, if we win this challenge, we get blueprint shards towards a new monster. Your character has a class disadvantage. Okay, let's see what we can do. <coughs> Your current opponent is Augustus, who's a focused character. You should switch to me. I'm a brave character who's strong against focused. Aha, uh -huh, we can switch. Switch. After you swap characters, you need to wait a certain number of turns to swap again. Yes, I know that. Always check for the class advantages, the green arrow. Okay, so... Cool. Let's do that. Wow. Easy. Nice power, by the way. Three stars. Bloopy blueprint shard. Okay, so blueprint shard from that last battle to get a new monster. Let's conjure it. So new monster, it's called Bloopy, so let's conjure this guy, 5,000 coins. I don't think I've seen, uh, I've never watched the movie, uh, the f third one at least, I've watched the first two, Hotel Transylvania. So kind of odd to have a game like this, but cool at the same time I guess. Awesomeness, Bloopy is good peeps, he'll make a great addition to your team. So there we go, first three uh characters hey i want to wish you good luck but i don't even know your name oh now you want to know right let's go you guys know what i'm gonna give name myself wait did i accidentally add a space right there 
cool remember to do your activities level up your characters and most of all have fun let's go fight this skeleton all right um so try to get yellow or red since that's what i'm focused on nice damage there the graphics is more cartoony obviously uh if you are okay with this kind of style then i don't see why you won't enjoy it but i guess for those of us that are used to pacific rim bridge wars it's a very different style of graphics like this is more cartoonish for sure all right let's skip all of these as usual you're getting all these rewards green gill man So yeah, I'm not sure if you are you are able to obtain all the monsters that you are fighting. In Pacific Rim Bridge Wars, it's quite different because you only obtain Jaegers, you can't control Kaijus. So there's that. So I do have... Okay, I, don't, I do not have Drag. So these are all the unlockable characters that you can unlock. There are not that many currently. This game is still fairly new. Maybe about one, one month at most. Okay, um, do that, obviously. Get the black one. I think I've seen this monster before. Cool, let's, um, let's grab the purple. 69 damage. Alright, um... I don't see any. Is there one? Oh, there's the casket one. Oh, he got to use his skill. Ugh. Okay, reshuffle for me. We're gonna take... We are gonna take the yellow right here. Alright, got it. Got it. Nice, got wild for the casket gems. <clears throat> I'm guessing that uh, I'll use him for a while. Rank up. It's quite easy to rank up when you're starting out. Got a bunch of equipments. All right, so we're gonna. Explore the menu for a bit. Let's move on to the home screen. Okay, so basically, there's daily rewards. Look at this, exactly the same one. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. All right, and then we have the Murray Mayhem. Okay, so make sure to visit the lab for a special limited chance to uh, obtain a four star Murray. Is Murray the mummy character? Alright, we'll go there later. This is the loot, basically. This is the events that's going on. And then there's this thing that recharges 4 hours. Something like loot capsules, sort of. And then there is... Let's see, this is like the campaign. Alright, this is the event. Unlock at level 10, we can't see... The look at that yet so team can have all of these characters guild unlock at level 8 then we have shop as well all right crystals coin those things wait do i have a new achievement equip relic on a character increase character levels all right cool um and then there's lab lab capsule so that is the Something like loot capsule, you can obtain one of these shirts for all these basic characters. Potential terror tomes and some potential equipments as well. Cool. Alright, so familiarizing with the game. So lab capsule gives you that equipment times three. That's cool. Uh, what else do we have in lab? So there's this Murray Mayhem, which you can summon one of these available characters. 
bunch of shards that you can obtain. So those are the drop rates. Uh, you can you can view it for yourself if you want to have a look at that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The entire game. What is this? Okay, new item, right? Oh yeah, relic trunk. Let's open it. Okay, onyx amulet, rainbow ring pierce, quartz amulet piece. Alright guys, so this is our first look at Hotel Transylvania Monsters. Uh, try to search for it if you want to try it out for yourself in the Google Play Store or the iOS platform app store as well so it should be available on both platforms so yeah it's a very cool game if you guys uh, enjoyed pacific rim bridge wars and you want to try something similar but you know <laughs> with different characters instead of jaegers and kaijus you would prefer something more cartoonish so give this game a try so i might play this for a bit later on and if i enjoyed it i'll post more videos on my channel as well so let me know what you guys think of this game as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, give this video a like, have a nice day, goodbye.